The date's now indelible. It's going to be remembered as long as man survives. July 20th, 1969. The day man reached and walked on the moon. That's one small step for man. One giant leap for mankind. Northwest Nazarene University students are putting the final touches on an experiment that has earned them the chance to do something most of us will only dream of. They get to work with NASA, and in the process, we get to experience weightlessness or zero gravity. The six students make up Team Super Hydro. The name comes from the super hydrophobic material they're using in their experiments. It's a material that repels water and could prove to be really valuable in space. Each year, the National Aeronautics and Space Administration selects collegiate engineering teams to take part in Microgravity University, a program designed to provide a unique academic experience and yield essential data to NASA's researchers. Students submit a detailed proposal outlining an experiment they would like to perform on NASA's zero-gravity plane, more commonly known as the Vomit Comet. In 2011, only nine teams were chosen to participate in the System's Engineering Educational Discovery, or SEED program. The open application process attracts strong competition from universities around the country. Other schools represented include Yale University, Dartmouth College, University of Washington, and California Polytechnic State University. These fortunate students were given the opportunity to personally perform their experiment on the plane which operates out of the Johnson Space Center in Houston, Texas. Last year marked the first year that engineering students at Northwest Nazarene University entered the program. They were inspired by a presentation about super hydrophobic materials given at the university by Dr. John Simpson from Oak Ridge National Laboratory, the largest organization in the world conducting independent research. The nanostructured material is virtually unwettable. Even when fully submerged in water, the material maintains a microscopically thin layer of air between its surface and the liquid. Dr. Simpson calls this the Moses effect, which he demonstrated during his NNU visit. The NNU team's proposal involved running zero gravity tests on this material and capturing the results on slow motion video to study. For NNU students and professors, this endeavor came as the result of not only months of hard work and labor, but years and lifetimes of ambition. I know I sat with my dad in 1969 and watched the lunar landing on a Sunday night, and I have always wanted to go into space, and this is kind of uh, on my bucket list, so this is the last opportunity I get, probably in my life, to uh, check off one of those bucket list items, which is to go on the, the vomit counter. While the group from NNU, who dubbed themselves Team Super Hydro, may not be going into space themselves, their experiment and research will aid in overcoming the technological challenges faced by future space missions by conserving and reusing water on long manned space missions. The experiment the team constructed shoots water droplets at a super hydrophobic target whose properties had not yet been tested in zero G. The results from their experiment were recorded using a high-speed camera. Based on the successful outcome of their experiment, NASA plans to use this material to design a novel water vapor phase separation system in order to conserve water while in space. A major issue with these types of missions is resources and resource recovery. So our primary focus is recovering resources from, in this case, waste. Water is one of the big ones. So this experiment focused mainly on preventing water from getting stuck inside of equipment. Although NASA will certainly profit from the results of the team's research, in a broader sense, the goal of the SEED program is to develop the scientists and engineers of our country's future. Over the course of their trip, the six students from NNU who participated in the program were inspired and excited by the opportunity to improve their learning and skills. It, it is very, very expensive for NASA to fly this, and so we're extremely fortunate and blessed to actually have this opportunity and be able to fly on this aircraft, see what zero gravity feels like, run an experiment, it's something that's never been done before. It's, it's just such an amazing experience. NASA's zero gravity plane is essentially a modified Boeing 727 without seats and with padded floor and ceiling. During each hour and a half flight, 
the aircraft plunges 10,000 feet towards the ground and then flies back up 32 times. Each weightless period lasts about 30 seconds. When the plane reaches its apex and begins to descend, those inside experience zero gravity and alternatively, they experience twice the Earth's gravity at the bottom when beginning to ascend. The NNU team conducted their experiment during this veritable roller coaster ride, providing them with an effective simulation environment. Coming over that first parabola, it's just great. Just, just kind of rise to the top. You're reaching for things to hold on to. You're like, what, what's happening? It is great. Everything in Zero G is actually a little more difficult than you think. Um, even pushing a button, two buttons, um, you start floating away when you're trying to push and your legs are above your head, you're trying to hold on. So it's a lot more difficult than you thought, but we got it done. In many ways, this experience encompasses the goals of every department on NNU's campus. Practical experience combined with intellectual and professional development. This team did a really good job of preparing for this. Their hardware was excellent and they were very professional. They handled it very well. Great team, great bunch of kids and the professors are awesome. So I really enjoyed working with Northwest Nazarene. We're just incredibly proud of our students and all the work that they did and all the success that we've had. Uh, their professionalism while we were here was spectacular. Uh, you know, we were just incredibly proud of what they've done and what they've accomplished. You, you still couldn't believe that this was actually happening. Like, we heard, you know, months ago that, oh, there's this program that you can get into, you find the Bomb Comet in Texas. We thought that'd be the coolest thing on Earth, but it's not possible. Um, so it, it was really hard to actually hit home that we're actually going to do this. The 2011 Northwest Nazarene University Microgravity Team will submit a second phase research proposal for 2012. NNU is proud of Team Super Hydro's accomplishments and success in a highly competitive program. The university looks forward to another year of invaluable research and hands-on experience.